There is no way this is gonna work! We're better off up here than trying to outrun a bear. I'd only have to outrun you. Look, I know you rescued me and all, but can you try being a little bit friendly? Sorry. I guess my sister got all the charm in the family. And yeah, all the looks, too. Cade's <laughs> 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 not gonna like that. Blades! You're a sight for sore optics. Headquarters is way too mobile. Cody! Oh, Cody. Ah, this thing is nothing but trouble. Ah. Hey, Doc and I put a lot of thought into that. Apparently, not enough. No more sightseeing. We're going to find Cade. You mean drive there? In this? No way! Cade and Taylor are in a forest so dense you couldn't get through, let alone this monster. <sighs> Too bad we can't teleport ourselves there. Even if we knew where Cade was, there's no way to control where the teleporter takes us. I'll do the rescue! What Doc says is accurate. These things will vanish once we cut off their source of electricity. Well, well, looks like you guys had all the fun. Too bad I was ready to tangle with those little rascals. <laughs> yeah. Look! We have to go after them. But they're heading northwest. There's not much out there for them to... Oh. It's a power plant. If those things fry the power grid like they've done to everything else, Griffin Rock will be crippled. What if we shut down the power plant first? That would save the grid, right? As well as vanquish those cackling energy thieves. It would. Vehicle modes, now. Looks like you'll have your chance to tangle after all, hotshot. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Shouldn't we let Graham take the lead at the power plant? I mean, the guy lives for this kind of thing. You forget something, Cade? Like maybe the firefighter's code? First through the door. Or sometimes the wall. <laughs> I 
don't think that you, maybe you should. I can't pass. No. Kate, if you don't face these things down, you'll live with them forever. Now, are you getting out, or do you need a push? Told you you could do it. Psh, ever any doubt? Uh. I'll do the rescue! No way it's coming after us. Well, perhaps not. But now that menace is trapped inside with some very sensitive machinery. And we have no way to get Heatwave and Cody back. Don't worry. I have a plan. Why am I not reassured? Okay, I think I lost that thing. Ah! Ew! Ah! Seriously? They couldn't turn these things off before sending them to the secret island? I mean, take the batteries out or whatever. It's not complicated. Cody! Where are you? Doc is beaming us back any second. Oh, no. My tag. Hey! No! Oh. Hey! Have I mentioned... No! Oh. Oh. I don't like human sporting events. Ha! Serves you right. Still hungry? How about thirsty? Ah. This could take a lot of water. So, what do you think? I don't like it. The Scrap Master took down Heat Wave, and you want to go back in there? I'm the only one that thing hasn't marked for destruction. I'll slip by without it noticing. We can help run interference, ensuring the Cade reaches the beam box safely. Any better ideas, Doc? Nothing that won't take weeks in nuclear fusion. All right, bots, let's move. Refuse marked for destruction. See? This is the part I wasn't really on board with. Just keep old Scrappy away from the beam box. Ah! Deploy phase two of the plan. <laughs> Kate, think rapidly. <laughs> Refuse marked for destruction. Listen, purple software upgrade, I am not a tree! Oh well, worth a try. Great, everybody's here. Whoa! Wow, that was actually helpful. Those flowers sure are pretty, huh? I've always loved Lupinus perennis. Uh, wild lupine. <laughs> so do butterflies. Some even eat this when they're caterpillars. Whoa! How do you know that? I have a degree in botany. No, oh, watch out for the toxic edendrum pubescence! <laughs> I thought only my dad spoke in random Latin. I'm sorry, poison oak. I learned plants by their scientific names. I hope I'm not too boring of a hiking partner. Are you kidding? You can be my private tour guide. Ooh. What's this? 
Please. <laughs> Mr. Pettipaw sure likes to shed, doesn't he? I'm hot. This seat has no lumbar support. How do you make it recline? <laughs> you call this a high-tech machine? I've ridden golf carts that are more trick-bound. <laughs> Tell me we're close, Cody. Sounds like Graham needs rescuing from this rescue. Just head for Griffin Rock Park, Graham. But be careful, there's a king cobra on the loose. Snakes can be royalty? Oh, is this another one of those names that don't make any sense, like catfish or moon unit? Cody, we're closing in. Which building has the Bowie inside? The tall one on Waverly, Dad. Chief, is this a good one, or should I 1012 with my passenger while you investigate the 1064? 1018. You guys don't have to worry about me. I was a 1037, remember? 104, ma'am. I was unaware you knew police codes. Thank you. 102. Polite and capable? Now that's good technology. Chase, open the door. I cannot, sir. It appears I am being boa constricted. <gasps> Cease and desist, Serpent. You are engaging in premeditated hugging of an officer of the law. Chase, try to transform. <laughs> Impossible, sir. My midsection is too compacted. We can ride this out. No way a boa is stronger than your bot. Dad, help is on the way. You need to cut my friend some slack. Noble! Uh-huh! We did it! Something's tickling my tummy. Ah! Get it off! Get it off! Uh, the good news is, it's gone. The bad news is, we dropped it where the lad pioneers are hiking. I'll do the rescue! We'll have to talk to her later, Cody. Over there! That's Noble! That's my dog! How can he be your dog when he's in my limo? Y is there a problem, Chief? I hope it's just a misunderstanding, Mayor. Because dog napping is a pretty serious offense. A misdemeanor under Civil Code 147.02. I found that dog running loose. If you can't keep him under control, it's not my fault. I'll let him out, Dad. Snarl! Priscilla, I think you'd better call off that barking bot. All right. But he's just protecting family property. Uh, it, it won't move. It's broken. Ugh. All right, then. Rescue bots, protect my family property. Uh, uh. Bark, 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 bark. This way, folks! Noble! I'm glad to see you, too! No! 
Serious doubts these beacons will attract dolphins to the island, sir. The ad said they emit the whooshing sound of a swimming squid. Dolphins like squid. What could go wrong? You bought them at a flea market, Mayor. With a coupon. Look, it's this or you're wearing that dolphin costume. Um, let's check the directions. <laughs> check the directions. No need. The beacons are water activated. Yeah, with dolphins chasing these little wonders around the island, tourists will be here all week. <laughs> Says here to release one every 50 feet to avoid interference with boat operations. Time is of the essence, Mr. Alper. Come on. to school, Uncle Woodrow. Most of the time, I just take my hoverboard. No trouble at all, little chief. Gives me a chance to drive Chase. How you doing anyway, Chase? Fine, sir. Exactly how long will you and your car be in town? Emergency dispatch. Help! My yacht is on a collision course with the South Shore! <gasps> We're coming, Mr. Mayor. Team, the Mayor's yacht is about to crash into the beach. We have to respond, Uncle Woodrow. Hot dog! I'm on a rescue! Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Attention, please evacuate the beach immediately. Go, Bo! Hurry! Go, go, go! My balloon! It's moving way too fast! It looks like the yacht is gonna hit before you guys get here. Danny, listen. Remember the game you used to play with your dolls and toy boats down by the creek? Yeah, why bring that up? Blades can be the ramp. Be, be the, the what? what? Be the what? I think it'll work, Danny. Hurry. Oh, boy. What? Oh, boy. You know I don't like oh, boys. Drop into the surf blades and convert to bot mode. Oh. Now, fall forward and prop yourself up. Oh, boy. All the hair-brained ideas. Hey, it worked. Here's... Someone is getting a medal for this. Gah. Uh, uh. I'll do the rescue! <laughs> Roll to the rescue! Chief, you have to restrain those monsters. They are nearing some highly explosive material. We so have to find a better place to keep that nitroglycerin. <sighs> Out of my way, Boulder. Doc said to take the monsters down. No, they're not monsters. One's the mayor and one's Graham. It's time we tried things my way. I'm going to talk to my partner. Graham! Graham! Hey, buddy. You asked me to help you with your homework, remember? You didn't understand it. And now, you don't understand what's happened to you. You're scared. And I can help you with that, too. That's good. 
But first, you have to step away from that crate. It's full of explosives. Stay back! You'll frighten them! Come along quietly, Your Honor. Or loudly, but please, no snapping. You really are always there for me, buddy. I guess I'm glad I don't remember much of being a monster. But what if I change back again? Oh, you will. As long as there's Fofu in your system when the moon rises. Don't worry. Dad's got a cure. But if you ask me, it's worse than being a wear creature. We need to counteract the synthetic food with fresh greens. Raw broccoli, spinach, and kale. One tiny request. Salt? No. A hat. Uh, I'm sorry. I nearly trounced you, Graham. No offense. <laughs> it's okay. I looked like a monster. Yeah, and I smell like a skunk. Doesn't mean I am one. I wonder if any other late movie creepazoids exist. Because if a zombie mutant potato attacks, I am so out of here. All right, that's it. Lights out at 8 p.m. and no TV. I'll do the rescue! Ah! 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 Is he crazy? He's Optimus Prime. Relax. Statistically speaking, that maneuver should not have worked. Uncle Woodrow, over here! Huh. Must be the tunnel the DES dug on its exploratory mission. So it should lead to the surface, right? Well, even if we could reach it, it's too small to fit through. Wait. I've seen that before. The alien housing structure. Oh, well, your dad was right. It's just a rock formation. <laughs> and there's my alien communication signal. Uncle Woodrow, that doesn't mean we won't find other proof. You never know. There just might be aliens after all. <laughs> yeah. They found us! I told you they would! I'm not so sure. Or was that fire kind of hot? 
Not just game hot, actually really hot. And it actually really, really hurts. hurt us it's not supposed to something must be wrong with the program ah! we quit game over and we are i'm sorry cody i am afraid i can't do that but we don't want to play anymore override failure 0357 reality mode locked goodbye the VR tech's malfunctioning. This isn't virtual anymore. It's real! You mean we're stuck in here? Forever? With that? The only way out for sure is to finish the game. We have to win. Ah! <gasps> Dragons seem a lot friendlier on public television! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Blades! To get to the flag, we'll have to jump! And get barbecued? Uh-uh! There's no way I'm moving up this high! Hurry! If we don't jump now, we'll fall off! I did it! Yes! <laughs> Take that! Virtual reality! Uh, Blades, we have to keep going. <sighs> Cody? Blades? Looks like the lightning shorted out some of this tech. Chief, I have found evidence that Cody and Blades were here. They probably still are. Inside Doc's new VR game. Come on out, son. I want you two home before this storm gets any worse. I guess they can't hear us. There's gotta be some way to open these- Sir, if I may. Chase! Apparently, I may not. Maybe Doc can help us. There's no reception in this storm. Team, we need backup. What do you know about video games? Rescue! Hey team, someone needs to get to the zoo, now. Nancy Morrison fell into the lion cage. <gasps> Trust me, you do not want to join his circle of life. Danny, now! In nature programs, that often means a lion's about to. Never quite got the syrup out of his treads, huh? Why didn't you tell me you were planning this? A distressed child, a ferocious beast. I mean, that's my CTV! Planning? Huxley, we respond to emergencies. We don't create them. Oh, you don't. But someone else could. Dad, we got a call. The bank was just robbed. Cody, any alarms triggered? No, and I can't see anything wrong on the security cameras. The tipster said the thieves took off in an armored car. Dad, I see one on Lake Street. Exit the armored vehicle with your extremities raised. 
Gary? Sorry, Chief. Uh, I was just running my regular route. Uh, was I speeding? No, but it looks like we have a prank caller. Cody, can you trace that tip? On it, Dad. Let me know what you find. Though I already have my suspicions. Uh, my engineering homework? No. Viewers would skip through this show to get to the commercials. I need bigger, epic, something... Pretty dangerous. That was close. This squilch is pretty dangerous. 